Copenhagen is usually a peaceful city. In the summer, residents enjoy the long days, relaxing next to its many canals. But that peace was shattered when a gunman opened fire in the crowded fields shopping mall on Sunday. A 22-year-old Danish man has been charged with killing three people and trying to kill seven others. We are not going to say exactly what weapons were used or that he had access to, how many shots were fired or exactly what was hit. That is part of the preliminary investigation. Danish authorities say the suspect had mental health issues and aren't calling it an act of terrorism. One of the big unanswered questions is how the suspect was able to access the weapon. Denmark has extremely strict gun control laws with civilian firearms only allowed for hunting or target shooting. You have to go through a very thorough background check carried out by the police, and they will look into not only your criminal records, but even what kind of people you uh, associate with, uh, what, what kind of life you lead before you are approved to get a gun license. The European Union also has minimum standards about possessing firearms that member states are required to incorporate. Police have said the suspect wasn't licensed to carry the weapon used in the shooting, but that it was a legal weapon. It's still unclear how it came into his possession. It's very, very, very rare that these guns ends up in crime, uh, mostly because they're not very attractive to the average criminals. They typically use handguns and automatic rifles that are either smuggled in or even stole from uh, our military or police. While life goes on here in Copenhagen, the city continues to mourn with vigils to those who died in the attacks. Riders in the Tour de France cycling race, which started in Copenhagen this year, also paid tribute to the victims on Tuesday. Several prominent gun legislation opponents in the U.S., have pointed to the Copenhagen attacks as evidence that gun laws aren't the problem. But according to the organization, the Gun Violence Archive, there have been more than 300 mass shootings in the U.S. so far this year. In Denmark, the last one was in 2015. Ira Spitzer, CGTN, 